Welcome back to another week of Sip the Tatter Presents Ravens Roundup. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and we're back here week 14 with a victory over the Buffalo Bills, uh, 24 to 17. A few stats to go through before we get into the, the nuts and bolts of this video. Lamar had 145 passing yards, three touchdowns, and an interception. Uh, he rushed for 40 yards. Ingram rushed for 50 yards. And uh, it was a kind of slow-ish day for us offensively. But we got some things done. We grinded this game out and got a victory. You know, a lot no eye popping numbers, no eye popping runs. Just some good, you know, some timely defense, some timely offense, and um another three passing touchdowns for the guy that they say is a running back. And if I'm not mistaken, somebody in the comments uh, let me know if I'm right or wrong. He may lead the league in touchdown passes. If not, he's close. He's at the top somewhere. So in the comment section, tell me what position Lamar's in and, and touchdown passes. But um, this video is going to be about the six sacks we got on the supposedly mobile Josh Allen. And I say supposedly, that's me being biased. Josh is pretty mobile, but we got to him six times, and uh, we're going to go through those things and, and let you see what our guys did to, to get the Josh get Josh Allen off his spot or just to get him you know get him sacked. Uh, but before we get into that, a few house cleaning things. Um, welcome to the channel. If your first time here, Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, after you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop these videos. Um, like the video. You know, likes are greatly appreciated and needed for the YouTube algorithm. Algorithm. So, um, like the video um, and comment. If you want to talk ball, you know, any kind of ball, whether it be stuff I, I got up or, in, you know, another team, you know, comment and I'll get back with you. Um, and people have been asking about support. I got a Patreon, which you'll see the commercial later on in the video. Uh, PayPal link is in the description. Um, Cash App link is in the description. So any of those things you want to do, feel free. You know, I appreciate anything to go to it. And, and in the pay, Patreon commercial, you'll kind of get a description of where the funds go. Uh, but without all it out the way, let's get right into the video. And basically the six sacks by uh, the Ravens. This is a perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. I right, getting right into it. His first sack is by Josh Bynes, one of the new acquisitions. Uh, and I appreciate the cost of picking this guy up. He's played big dividends for us. Hold on, I almost forgot the most important thing. We all know what this is. Every victory except the purple Kool-Aid. And I didn't do the call-in show because I honestly I was just tired from driving the day before. I drove a nice little ways. Didn't feel like doing the call-in show, but for those of you sticking with me now, here's to the purple Kool-Aid sips up. Now we can get into the video. Bynes is the middle. Straight up the middle, unblocked. See a hole, shoot it. Nothing spectacular about that. This is Bynes right here. Right here, so to speak. That's him. 57. This guy blocks out to take care of that. He goes to the nose, so I don't know if the back's supposed to get this guy or what, but he steps there, he steps there, so he's blocking nobody. I think that's Cody Ford. That's my guy. Doesn't go for the fake. Straight up the middle. And uh, Peko, I think is his name. Peko beats his guy too, beats the center. So the center got beat all kind of ways. He got beat in the – he steps left to block right, so he's out of position right now. Peko beats his man, and Bynes just comes scot-free. He pauses a little bit on the run fake, but comes scot-free. Easy set. It won't get any easier than that, Bynes. You can count the bills on that one. It won't get any easier than that. The second sack, which is later on in the first quarter, uh, 103 left. This sack is by Judon. This is, this guy's about to get paid. He, he's about to get paid. And, and somebody, I think Baldy may have said it, stop letting tight ends block these premier pass rushers. And, yeah, I'm putting Judah on in a premier pass rusher right now because he's the best we got. He's premier for us, even if some people don't think. Here he is right here, and this is the rookie, Dawson Nick. I think his first name is Dawson. He's from Ole Miss, whatever, he is, whatever his name is. He's from Ole Miss. 
And um, comment section, you know, let me know what his name is. I think it's Dawson Nix or something close to it. But he he, he can't do anything with Judon. And this is not a, 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 a extravagant move. Just beat him with speed and a rip. Speed and a rip. That simple. Speed and a rip. Push him out the way. Dip and rip. And get to the quarterback. Get flat to the quarterback. Try to knock the ball out. That's easy. Easy for Judon because that kid, was, he was outmatched. Third set. <laughs> now we got a rookie. Oh, third. Let's see what third do. Wonder if he got a counter for that bull rush or, or is this a bull, bull rush? Let's see. Ah, you done with the Ferg got the sack because he he touched him. So let's let's focus on both of them. Here's Ferg here, and he gets the sack because he touched the quarterback or he's the closest to the quarterback. Rookie on rookie, I think this coded forward. Ferguson and forward. It's not a bad matchup. Do a good good move by Ferguson. Get 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 that arm out the way. Watch him. I don't know if we can slow it down enough. Take that on, put, grab that wrist, and throw it out the way. Got him turned. Now, if, 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 now I'm going to spit all everything. If Ferg had a spin move right here, it'd be awesome. If he had a spin move right there, because look how he got Cody forward, head and shoulders turned. Let's see what he does from here on out. He goes right to him. He don't have a spin. Trying to get back in. He got him off, look, got him off balance. Way off balance. Got to, he got to get a counter. Got to. Got to. So he did that great pre the early move. Got the man off balance, off whack, and can't finish because he don't have nothing else to go to yet. All four do just stop and open, stop and turn. First, they don't have nothing to go to yet. Not yet. Not yet. Let's see who else gets pressure on. They just get pressure up to me. Everybody gets pressure. This long loop by Judah. Judah gonna loop all the way over here. He just falls. He sees Judah and he falls. And Ferg just happened to be the closest to him. But I dive on him too. I take the sack. Because if you if you want away from a bonus, that sack going to count. <laughs> so that's that's Ferg's sack right there. I don't think it's his first, but it's one of the few he's gotten so far this year. All right, this one is a half sack. Judah and Pierce. Pierce don't get a lot of sacks. But he get a lot of pressure. He get a ton of pressure. So let's see if we can pinpoint them. I think they're side by side. I think. I think these these are them right there. I think that's Pierce. I think that's no, that's Pierce in the middle. Yeah, it was Pierce in the middle. We'll see about it from the back. Alright, here we go. Pierce is here. Judon is walking around trying to figure out where he's going. Trying to create confusion. So I thought that's Ferguson. I thought that was Judon. Look at them, both of them coming from the middle. Pierce still fighting. Judon fighting. So this is this is really a cover sack because these two guys are really not rushing. So good job by the DBs. So let's go back before we get to the sack and see what the coverage. Because that's a cover sack. I'm going to just pause it right there. Cover, 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 cover. Hey, this, this sack's on the secondary. Judon and Pierce, you all them guys back there, steak dinner or something. Because they wasn't really rushing. Especially Pierce, he was, I mean, Judon, he was just back there. Ooh, what, 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 what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Okay, I guess I'll go get the quarterback. Um, So, I guess I'll rush. Sack. Sack. Counts in the stat book, though. I've been asked. How can people support my channel and help it grow? And after talking to other YouTubers, Patreon.com is the answer. Any amount donated will help build the channel. My goal is to get a telestrator and help explain the ins and outs of the game even more. So go on over to Patreon.com backslash Zip the Tally to support the channel. And there will also be videos for subscribers only in the future. This is Coach Evans, and again, thanks everyone for the support. And head on over to Patreon.com backslash Zip the Tally. Purple Kool-Aid break.
Remember, Pollock can't have no purple Kool-Aid. I don't know if he's trying to sip yet. He's trying to he trying to ease on back into our good graces, but we ain't that lenient. This is Earl's first sack ever. First sack ever. He had a bogus um what some bogus call that was. He got pushed in the back and he pushed us out. And they called a personal foul on him. Which is, you know, to me was whack. But let's see where Earl at. All right, here's Earl right behind his goal post. Can't really see him. He's moving. Walking to the edge. And it may look like, because if he doesn't look at him, that he's covering one of these guys. And that may be what um, Allen is thinking, especially before this play fake, because his eyes not on him now. He comes and goes straight to the other side. Has no clue. So the guy that misses him is the tight end again. The same guy that had the block shoot on earlier, this kid right here. He looks inside, doesn't really pay attention to Earl coming up, you know, walking up. Can't get back. It's too late now. You didn't, you didn't ease, not ease the edge, but you've created a lesser edge for Earl to come. So if you stay there, Earl at least got to come right here where the, the arrow is. Let me see if I can make this go without moving. So you let him come inside the arrow. And on this, the way I got this scaled up, that's a lot. That's a shorter distance to the quarterback. And because he stepped up just a little bit to avoid, who is this he's avoiding? To avoid Judon, Earl comes flat, get his first sack. Bam, right there. Basically, we had a part at the QB. Should insert um, Walk a Flocker song right here. It's a party, it's a party. I don't want no copyright infringement. So that's a good job of Judon on this play, making Josh step up. And when he stepped up, because Earl had the good corner, he got his first sack. And a fumble. They got it back, though. So Earl, you got your first sack. Even though you got a penalty afterwards, um, we'll take it. The sack's the account. So that's sack number five. And the last sack became late in the game with like 3.11 left. When um, I think they were trying to get back into it. And on this one, I remember watching it. And uh, Josh Allen did not even see for it. He basically hit him right in the mouth. Boom. I don't know, coming off that long loop, I don't know if it was designed like that or he just decided to go. See, this is Fort right here in the middle. And he's going to end up coming off the edge to hit um, Allen right in his mouth. Oh, okay. So this is what I think happens. I think Fort has the back. I think Earl's a blitzer. I think Fort has the back. So when the, the running back goes over here and picks up uh, Earl, he just takes Earl's place blitzing. Yeah, he got the back. And when Earl picked up Earl, he just took, bam, hit him right in the mouth. He never saw him. He was looking at other stuff. Look at Josh Allen's head. He never saw Fort. So he's trying to get away from Earl right here. So he's gonna step, you know, because the guy his running back is blocking him, so rifle rifle is so you step back and try to avoid it. Boom. Right there. And good tackle. Didn't go low. Didn't go high. Right right there in the midpoint. Right where you need to be to tackle a quarterback. Because there ain't very many spots that you can tackle a quarterback at. Hey, and this is our six sacks we got at the supposedly, well, I keep saying supposedly, the mobile Josh Allen. Uh, I heard somebody in the national media said Lamar's a finesse runner and Josh Allen's a power runner. Runners are runners. But anyway, earlier last year, when he was doing just as much running as Lamar, he was still considered a quarterback. Lamar was a running back. But all that really don't matter. We're just going to take care of what we can take care of, whatever the national media, whatever they try to throw out there and play and try to play Lamar down. That don't bother that kid, man. And if you're a real Ravens fan, you know he's not bothered by that type of stuff at this point. So he's just going to keep going out there doing his thing. Um, big game coming up Thursday, and we'll get back with you tomorrow for your second video of the week. So uh, week 14, we had a victory over the Bills, 24-17. This video is about the six sacks, and this is Coach Evans signing off.